what's up you guys welcome on back to the channel i feel like i just did a power down review gymshark did it again they came at us with yet another newer release so you already know your girl had to get your hands on pretty much one of everything <laughs> so i'm gonna be reviewing the entire new power down collection baby that range has got it going on your girl likes it so for those who are unfamiliar with the power down range it is basically just like your rest day kind of set all right not really meant to work out in or go to the gym with this collection is more of just your luxurious powdery buttery soft feel where you just kind of lounging and browsing the internet it's actually super unique than their other type of ranges because it's made of a fabric called modal modal model oh i don't know but nevertheless it's made of like a biodegradable type of texture material made from trees like it's really cool so that's what gives it its ultra soft feel so i was sold automatically on the last power down I'll have that linked down below that video in case you want to reference that one and compare and contrast, but I'm going to be doing a little bit of that today. So let's get into this video, baby. If you're not already, definitely hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. Let's go. Oh, baby. Power down leggings. So I believe that Gymshark heard my prayers about the last power down leggings, you know, the ones that if you wore it just normal, the, the waist was up to here, that band was big and you had to pretty much roll it over. Super cute look, but this one's a little more impractical for me. So you got normal <laughs> leggings with a normal band, high waisted, about probably like four inch band. These babies are in the color sage green. I've been getting a lot of sage green with Gymshark. This is one of their staple piece colors for the summer. Everything they sell in sage, I'm kind of getting it. Like they did it for me. This is my color. So these babies were $50, all right. Mm -hmm. They have a 23 inch inseam and everything you see is in a size small. In case you don't know, that's my true to size size. So these are totally true to size, I would say, definitely. They are stretchy, look at that. Mm, that stretch. They are 80% of that modal type of material, 15% nylon and 5% elastane. So ultra stretch, you still have that like wicking capability, okay? So it's not like, you know, it's something you, you, you're just gonna wear in the winter time. You could totally wear this in the summer because it is lightweight, but you absolutely could wear it in the winter. That's what I love about this collection. It's like versatile a little bit, you can do both. You have a lot of like contour and rib. The whole thing is like a big rib. I like that look because it just kind of screams comfort. So you got the band that's ribbed. You got the breakup of texture. It's got a lot going on. It's not boring. It's definitely not boring. You still have the gusset crotch. And I really love, I saw on their site that the logo here on the shin, and I believe on all of the sets in this collection, are sealed in with heat. It's not embroidered. It's just kind of printed on. So they're not totally squat proof, but that's okay because they're really meant for just lounging around. You know, if you want to get down and dirty at the gym with these, then I don't know, that's on you, girl. <laughs> Again, 23 inch inseam for the size small, and it's perfect length for me. I like it. I love it, and I want some more of it. All right, guys, so they released some cycling biker style shorts in this collection. <laughs> Ooh. So these babies are in the color charcoal. They were $40. Hmm. For lounge shorts, 40 bucks? Well, I don't know about it. They have an eight inch inseam, so they're definitely longer than like your average pair of shorts. Uh, again, pretty much the same deal in material as the leggings. However, they are slightly different in terms of the contour. The shorts actually have a little more um, of like a booty contour to them than the leggings. This one's definitely more like, you know, showy offy. They have the raised seam in the middle here so that it makes the peach pop a little bit. These are kind of like, you know, you want to wear them out with a, you know, a cute casual t-shirt, going out for lunch, brunch, whatever. This is what I would wear then, you know? These are just like your kind of athleisure active, yet still want to look cute. Totally can wear these out. I'm a huge fan of the raised seam for that reason, because it really complements the peach, whereas the leggings did not have them. So I'm already kind of like favoring the shorts a little bit more, you know? Summertime, mm. Same deal, not totally squat proof, 
but not a problem. They do come in the other really cute colors, but I wanted to get a charcoal color, more of a darker neutral color, just to be able to match with anything because I do anticipate taking these out into the elements, you know, taking it out and about, experience life a little bit, you know. Uh, and like the other leggings, they are high-waisted and have that ribbed design, nice breakup all around, gusset crotch, the whole nine. So very comfortable, sealed in logo. Again, right down the side. I like that look. They kind of like have it running down vertically and I think that breaks it up, makes it unique in its own for the collection. So love it. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and compare the two crops that they have in this collection. The croplet, the smaller one, is also from their older collection. It's the same exact thing. So I already got this one in like a really nice neutral tan color, but I had to get the sage. You got that nice button down look, even though it's not real buttons. Oh, what the heck? It is just the same like front and back square neck. Uh, very simple. The sleeve, like the drop down here, it comes a little bit lower than this one. Um, so you do have some differentiations we got going on here. This one's 35, whereas the longer actual crop vest is 30. I find that a little bit weird because it's like more material, but whatever. So the new crop vest, actually this one's in the color claret. So I thought I would mix it up. It would look really cute with the gray shorts. This one comes about an inch lower than the croplet. And there's more coverage overall. You just have just more of a modest type of fit. Neither of them actually come with bra padding, but the croplet has the opening if you wanted to put inserts inside, whereas the vest, I don't see no opening. So you just, you just, you have to be good with that or wear your own bra underneath it. The straps are also different. Like I said, this is like a very symmetrical scoop neck, like that nice square neckline. And this one has more of just like that crew line, that little swoop, and then the backing looks a little bit thinner, more squared off, thinner straps. So it kind of gives that more like, this could be a shirt in a way, just like a crop shirt. The croplet has more of like that drop feel on the side. This comes up a little bit higher. So like I said, more conservative if you like that. They do have the logo placement on the same exact side kind of down your back-ish area, just kind of down the side. So overall, kind of the same, but very different in a lot of different ways. And then of course you do have like the minor details when it comes to the ribbed look on them. They are different in some ways. So they each serve a purpose. You know, I, I mean, I like them both, I do. They're both stretchy, very comfortable. They're the exact same material as the, both the leggings and shorts you just saw. So they are soft and very stretchy. I don't know if I prefer one over the other. I mean, I would probably say that I prefer the croplet only because I do like that breakup in the front a little bit, the fake buttons. That's okay, because let's be honest, even if they were real, I wouldn't use them, like really. Um, and this kind of goes without saying, but both of them are light support, again, because you don't have any underwire, you don't have any padding or anything. So this is just kind of your lighter, lightweight feel kind of days. All right, guys. So. We also picked up a bodysuit, yeah. This baby was $45. This one's also in that charcoal color. I did get um, a tan bodysuit in the last haul. So this is kind of resembling the two crop like bralettes that you just saw, where the last bodysuit had like the three button downs mimicking the croplet. This bodysuit is mimicking more of the crop vest design, if that makes sense. So you don't have the buttons, you got like more just surface looking flat space up here. Um, it's just your normal crew cut neckline. You have the backing that opens, which I do like, okay? So that's pretty consistent, I like that. A um, little bit of sexiness going on. It is a bodysuit, so you do have the clasp right at the bottom here and it is a long sleeve no thumb holes or anything but a lot of ribbed movement a lot of breakup and it is a thong style okay so i don't know if i love that or not <laughs> you pretty much don't have to wear underwear i mean that's that's up to you but this would be really cute with high-waisted jeans shorts you know what i'm saying where it's still a little bit cool out but yeah you know what i'm saying you want to keep your upper body warm they do come in other colors i kind of wish i got other colors <laughs> And they do have the sealed in logo right on your like shoulder bone right here. A little odd placement, but hey, 
they're they're doing some different things in this collection and i just gotta you know, i just gotta applaud them on that a little bit so it is true to size very stretchy and made of the same exact material as everything you've seen so far okay gotta love that okay very stretchy very comfortable all right guys we got another summertime vibe here we got a solid black tank top hmm this is a more relaxed fit, so it's a looser tank. It's not skin tight. Definitely more breathable, lightweight, kind of easy and breezy. This was $25, so not, not too bad for Gymshark. You do have like that same logo placement as you just saw, right up the shoulder, but it's in a gray, not a white. I wish it was in white, just because I'm like that. <laughs> the gray is nice, but I want, I want that logo to just pop a little bit. You know, I want that like against the black, you know what I'm saying? This one is actually made of 65% polyester and 35% viscose. So it's different in material. You don't have like the same same vibes as the other one, but it is still so soft. You have the two sides here that tie, so you can just kind of scrunch it in and make it as baby doll fit as you want. So I like that. It's versatile. You can keep it open if you wanted to, kind of have it real loose, or you can kind of just tie it up on the sides and make it a little more like slim fit. You do have the nice drop sleeves. So it, like I said before, very breathable. You could, you know, wear a sports bra underneath if you want or one of those bralettes, but overall very comfortable, casual tank top. And I obviously went with a solid black, so we'll go with anything, you know, girl? Gotta think ahead like that. All right, guys, last but not least, we are looking at the long sleeve crop top. This was $35. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At first when I looked at this, I was like, what the heck am I looking at? Because, you know what I mean? It just looked like overly complicated, like something I didn't want to deal with. Nevertheless, it's super easy. You're always getting worried for nothing. It's in the color Pebble Pink. Now, this one here <laughs> is a wraparound tie and it gives me those ballerina vibes so much, you know, like that delicate, dainty, and it might also have to do with the fact that it is pebble pink, but nevertheless, I do love these vibes here, that little crisscross in the front. I just, I really like it. It's it's different where it's it's a nice breakup of my normal type of clothing, you know, uh, catch an eye here or there, you know, people be eyeing me with the with the different type of Gymshark look. You got that crisscross backing, baby. So, woo, there's a lot going on in here. This one's 65% polyester and 35% viscose, okay? So similar to that other one. Uh, these tanks are different than the leggings. It's not the same material. This has more of that like cottony vibe. You have like the little black Gymshark sewn in patch, which is pretty, pretty cool, I guess. You don't have that like logo anywhere except for the back actually, right below the neck. You literally have the logo blend into the back here. So pebble pink logo printed on, Whew, you don't even notice it. You might as well not be there. So these are long sleeves and they do have a nice um, thumb hole. So you do have like that sexy lower back showing. So it is sexy revealing, but yet kind of modest at the same time. So it's a nice happy medium. You got the basic crew neckline and uh, yeah. At first I wasn't sure even ordering it. I was like, mm, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot, girl. All right, guys. So that was the review of the new Power Down collection. As you can see, there are a lot of similarities to the older one, but nevertheless, there were some worth noting, some newness, some differentiation that's worth noting. So definitely comment down below if you have any other questions. Let me know if you tried these out, what your thoughts were, and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Also follow your girl on the gram, okay? Daily content on there for all things fitness. Cause together we got this. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.